forever, ever, hold on, never mind. Oh, I. So what I want to do now I got the ground cleared away I got my little outdoor re or expedition research little grill 12 bucks on Amazon go check it out 12 bucks how do you beat that for 12 bucks so what I want to do is I want to Mark the width so I don't dig too much. Mongo, go. Some hard clay. Oh man, tons of ruts under here, too. Of course. I think that's pretty, pretty good, I think. Just didn't want to cook my my steak on top of that nasty ass grill over there. It just looks nasty. We'll heat it up for a while and and it'll sterilize it, but still, still doesn't allow me to use my little. Still doesn't allow me to use my little grill. Hey, check that out. Like I said, these little grills are like <clears throat> 12 bucks on Amazon, Expedition Research. Go check them out if you want one. I mean, it's good for backpacking. It's perfect for backpacking. It holds, it has no weight at all. It's stainless, it's reinforced, it's little. So, I got some, uh, some fire powder. I'm not going to disclose the name of the company, but take that off. We've got this tinder a little bit more. Now that my hole is going to be a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be, now I really need to break these down quite a bit more. That's okay. Who is this one? Stringy. String bean. Stringy, stringy. Yeah, I thought it'd be a good idea to just get out of the house and come out in the woods and do some minor bushcrafting. I really wouldn't call this full blown bushcrafting at all. So you just sprinkle it around. I'll save some for the big fire. I didn't do any shavings either. I suppose I could.
I love this Perkin bushcraft knife. It's uh, Damascus steel from the UK. I, I did not pay a lot for this knife, but it's fantastically amazing. I love this knife. I mean, it's just shaving these little curls like nothing. And it's got that nice little groove in there for your finger, so you can do that. And I'm still working on all this. I mean, this is all, I'm a newbie. What if I can get some curls in there? Maybe I can get this to start. There's my pit. So I got that going. It's what's for dinner. Ribeye beef steak. So while we're waiting for that pit to get going here, I'm going to take my steak and put it in the Jack Daniels marinade bag and let it sit for a little while. Get it nice and marinated. Gotta have a marinated steak, yeah! Gotta eat like kings and queens out here in the woods, right? Oh, that smells great. And my dog, I'm gonna give him a... I'm gonna give him the... All that fat. I'll wash it off. This stuff is pretty nice. It's easy. All you got to do is put the steak in there, zip it back up, make sure it's sealed, give it a couple shakes. Okay, so my fire went out, so for all you non-believers, <laughs> I want to show you that little fire stoking tool. Just stick it in here. And
And my battery is dying again. Yay. Oh yeah. We got coals, we got coals. Hot, hot coals. Now I can start adding the big stuff. And it's already going on five o'clock. I got like an hour, if I'm lucky, an hour of daylight left. That's the way it goes. This was a spur of the moment, last minute trip and I decided to take it and here I am. So. Here I am. Yay, yeah, you're. <clears throat> this cooking in the pit thing is a little bit tougher than it looks. It'd be aight. So I literally got like an hour, a little bit less. So I'm gonna speed things up a little bit. I don't really have a choice. As long as I have a couple of these for my coffee on my Iridium, I'm good. But I do wanna speed things up a little bit cause I'm burning up batteries like candy. Like candy, Durr. Burning up batteries, man. Burning up batteries. My 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 Fuji XP90 burns up batteries like nothing. I mean, I brought five batteries out here. I've gone through four already, and I'm barely even really <laughs> filming much of anything so far. Want to get this? There we go. <laughs> there we go. more smaller stuff I got it okay so doesn't look like it but starting to lose light pretty fast here and this fire is kicking my ass why well I should have probably started the fire outside of the pit and then scraped it in but I didn't want to so I didn't and that's what kind of what I needed was a little bit of wind and I'm do also doing this under my tarp so Things are moving slow. My dog keeps taking off on me. Get over here, please. But I'll tell you what. You know what? This thing right here has saved my butt. During the, watch this thing. Check that out. I don't have to blow on the fire at all, man. All I gotta do is use this little stoking tool this thing is fantastic. Do not get caught out in the woods without it, man. Like I said, I got it off of YouTube. It came from China, I believe. 13 bucks or something. This thing is great. It's been stoking this fire the whole time with little to no effort. I mean, there was a point in time where this thing was completely out. So pretty soon I'll be able to to put the food on but 
And my dog keeps running away. That's getting really annoying. I'm about to beat his butt. He just can't handle all the smells out here. So. A lot of this wood is wet. I'm a little bummed out about it, but now that I got this, I got probably about a, I probably have about a six inch layer of, of uh, embers down below. So once I can get this stuff to burn, I can sit in my trio chair and relax. <clears throat> I think I'm just going to make this my stationary fire for tonight. It's nice and hot. We're not going to waste any more time. We are going to get this steak on these embers. <laughs> Yum. It's going to be fantastic. Look at that. Nice juicy steak. Nice juicy steak over the fire. Get over here! Get over here! Come on, eat! Let's eat! those embers around a little bit. Nice and hot in there. Definitely got some good heat. <laughs> Definitely cooking up real nice. Can't see a whole lot, but uh, steak's going good, potatoes are going good. Yeah, I mean, I can zoom in all day long, you ain't going to see it. It's getting really dark, we're losing a lot of light. But nonetheless, my food's cooking. Got my dog leashed up so he can't run off anymore, you little naughty boy. Naughty little boy. You naughty little boy. Sit. Sit. Paw. Paw. Oh, he's a good boy. That paw. That paw. Oh, good boy. He's cold. He's very cold. He's been out in the, out in the cold all day long now for four hours, so... He's not a happy camper. He's not happy camping. Anyway, it's going, it's going, it's going. All right, well, I got the fire going again. Here's the fantastic steak over the little pit. Worked out great. 
ribeye. Bon appetit. Me and Mongo are going to scarf down some meat. Morning guys. Well it's about 20 degrees out. It's about 7.35 in the morning. I already packed up camp. It's uh, it's cold. It rained for about three hours last night and then it stopped and then this morning it started raining again and then it started snowing and sleeting. Hey buddy, hi. Are you ready to go home? Oh, I'm sorry. Are you ready to go home? He's ready to go home. It's cold. He had a rough night for his first time out, but he was a good boy. Weren't you a good boy? Huh? Were you a good boy? Were you a good boy, Moggy? Did you like your steak? Hey, guys. I really appreciate you coming along on my little trip. Uh, I'm going to be doing plenty more of this kind of stuff. Bushcrafting. Um, when the winter comes, I'm going to do a lot of winter overnighters. Uh, you know, this next spring, I got some big kayaking trips coming up. So I'm pretty excited about that, too. I hear a lot of sirens in the distance. I'm about 13 miles away from home in an undisclosed location, obviously. I'm not going to tell you where I'm at because this is kind of like my base camp. So I'll be spending a lot of time here. There's tons of wood. There's water. So I got the resource of having water. But I had a really good time. Uh, a couple things I wish I could have done different. Well, I didn't bring any lighting. So... That kind of destroyed my any of my night shots. So, eh, that's alright. I'm just having a little coffee. I didn't even film any of that stuff. It was so cold this morning. I just wanted to get up, tear down camp. I knew we had some more rain coming in, so... I tore down camp as fast as I could. Threw it all in the van. I'll just take it all home and dry it out then, but... Hey, if you guys really like this video or you found anything in this video helpful or any of the resources I used useful, please subscribe down below. Hit that bell so you don't miss anything. And thank you guys. We'll see you on the next trip. But before I go, I'm going to show you a little view of what's going on here. So this is my water source. Great place. It's funny, this, this site, this particular area I'm in, it has another site back here too. Which is super cool. And I like this site too. I thought this was actually pretty cool. It's uh, nice and open back here. So... Yeah, I liked it. Nice little place. You know, for those of you that want to know, this is actually like a... This is a canoe camp setup. It's free to stay here. Technically, you're supposed to come in by canoe only, but... I mean, obviously, there's exceptions. But the, mo the river's moving really nice right now, and the water levels are up. I've passed this several times doing canoe trips. So, great stuff. This river goes for about 200 and some miles. You know, Mongo's ready to get back in the car. I gotta finish packing up the rest of my garbage. Check this out, guys. I was just packing up camp. It is just, I don't even know if you can see this, man. It's hailing out. Big time. We're getting massive sleep. Packed up camp when I did. I don't even know if you can hear me. The wind is so bad. I gotta get home. I gotta get out of here, guys. Wow. Insane. I can't believe this has picked up like this. Woo.